Hey everyone, it's Andrew. We're at the final chapter of Grab by the Ghoulies. In the last episode, we burst into Baron Von Ghoulies' room. We found out that he was Crivens and that Crivens was he, and we beat him up anyway. We took his key, well, Mr. Ribs did, and now the two of us are going to help the rest of the uh, prisoners escape. And so, if you're paying attention, you'll know which side of the hallway to go down. I wasn't. But, Cooper doesn't know what to do. He's like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Huh? Did do what? But, we have ten prisoners that are here within the manor, and Mr. Ribs is going to help us uh, rescue them. But we have a time limit. If the time runs out, we can't save any more of them. And we can't even save our game between this uh, period of time, and so now we come down to the race. We have 13 minutes in order to save all ten of the prisoners. Don't do like I did. I ran down the wrong side of the hallway. And, uh, for some reason I tried to run back through the hallway again. Uh, and I don't know what I'm doing there. But anyway, uh, there are rare tomes in this section, so you're going to want to get them, uh, as you go through this. But, bam, there's your rare tome right there. Enter into the door. And so now we enter into the... Bathroom. And there's the girl that's sitting on the hot coals. I was wondering about that, and Mr. Rib points out the fact that she looks a bit warm. Ew. And we just stumbled upon a hunchback taking a poop. Alright, and apparently she was his friend and now he wants to fight. We have to defeat him before we can move into the next room. So, yeah. It's a hunchback, though. There's really not a whole lot that we, you know, really not a whole lot to do here. Uh, all you gotta do is just take him and start, you know, thwacking away, if at all possible. I don't know why, but I just didn't like that piece of uh, the blinds. So, I mean, you've also got in the, uh, the, the various little closet areas in the bathroom uh, items that are hidden around that you can grab. Uh, you know, nothing too terrible at this moment, and if you want to go ahead and grab the rare tome, there it is. Not a whole lot to really say right now, other than the fact that, you know, you just want to do what you normally do to the, uh, hunchback. Hit him to stun him, and then try to move around to the face. If you have to hit him again, hit him again. Give him a little bit of space so that he will get up, because you can't attack him while he's covering his face. And I'm trying something new here. And it almost worked out. I was just trying to do little attacks here and there, here and there. But he is defeated now, and we can run out of the bathroom into the next room. And for some reason... Ah! I wanted to grab the Turbo Cooper, because apparently that was going to make things faster. Yeah... But we've got about 11 minutes now. We have nine victims to go, and we move our way to the conservatory. To the first girl that I kept saying, why is she stuck here? Or not the first girl, but one of the girls. Because of the fact that the, uh... There's your rear tone, by the way. Because of the way that she's trapped. And again, I can't believe that she's stuck here. It's around one of the vines. But now we have two prisoners free. Apparently, the next victim is in Fiddley, uh, Fiddley's house, whatever. And we go to run out of this room, and you know we're not just going to be able to exit. Spiders and worms. We only have five attacks to kill 20 enemies. We only have 11 enemies to kill in four attacks. And I'm trying to get the worms to react to me. And, well, part of me just got tired of waiting, and then there's the realization that, yeah. But, the Grim Reaper is right at my back at this point. You should stop celebrating and run! No! Ugh. This guy, I'm telling you. Yeah... Yeah, you've been kicked out of your cottage, and now... Oh, oh, this, this, this. Yeah, apparently Amber went to tell him, but... Yeah. 
again, Little Willie, I don't, we'd never meet Little Willie. But we're given the water pistol at least, so there's at least that that gets to help us out here. We have ten minutes to rescue eight prisoners, and and Mr. Ribs is about to answer a question that I had at this moment. We can't damage anything in this room. Or else the Grim Reaper is going to attack us, but you know we're going to break something in just a moment. Uh, uh, yes, uh, apparently Dunfiddlin did not know that this guy was trapped in the closet, uh, trapped in the chest. So now we have, yeah, again, we still have ten minutes and we get another lock. We have to kill a television. We have to kill three televisions that are spawning the undead and imps and we, yeah. You're going to want to take out the TVs first because, you know, they're going to be the ones that are going to be the most prone to the attacks right now. Uh, that's the good thing about them. They freak out because you know you got water, and the water will do a whole lot to them. And, uh, chicken jumped on my back. Thankfully, though, you can push the chickens in the fire, and the chicken will die. One TV down, one TV to go, and we're... It looks like we're kind of cutting things close, especially since... Ah, that TV is now dead. But where, oh, where, oh, where is that tome? That's right in here. Or not. It's right over here at this one. <clears throat> there you go, rear tome. Boggle family. Or, or uh... Little panda bears from Banjo, Kazooie, and Tooie, and nuts and bolts. And now we move on to the dinner hall, the dining room. No, 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 no! Please don't do what I think you're about to do. I know what he's about to do, but you know. I, I really just get bothered by the things that Dunfiddlin says. No! Because we're in a room that's filled with a bunch of zombie pirates. Uh, perfect. But we get to rescue the kid that apparently was going to be eaten sooner than later. Platter lad. Yeah, well, we're, we're trying to move a whole lot faster, okay? Calm down. But what happens? A bunch of zombie pirates run into the room, and why? Because I'm the one that killed the captain, disturbed the feast, uh, messed with the buried treasure, and I killed Roger the cabin boy, who was one week away from retirement. So now they want me dead, and really and truly at this moment, a water pistol would be real nice. But, there's your rare tome. Now we have some zombie pirates to kill. And, uh... Not a whole lot to say at this point other than the fact that you're supposed to kill them with weapons. I didn't do that. And, uh, then I grabbed the one-hit wonder because I wanted them to be dead as fast as I could kill them. And it didn't help the fact that I kept missing them. So, of course, I've got the Grim Reaper right on my tail. Thankfully, the Grim Reaper hit one of the zombie pirates, and I can run away now. So, I believe we have six more victims to go, and we've got about seven minutes, and I'm guessing about 50 seconds in order to rescue them all. Are we going to be able to make it in time? That's the question that we want to ask right now. As we now enter into the pantry with a girl in the freezer... And as we make our way to Mr. Ribs, yeah, this guy. Uh, these things are just annoying to me. I, I, they just get on my nerves towards the end of the game. But there's the kid that's in the freezer, Ice Pop Girl, and uh, now she has been rescued. So what do we do from here? What's the big gimmick for this room? Oddly enough, there isn't one. But, if you want to get the rare tome, right there it is. And so, we are halfway there. We've got about seven minutes 
and 30 seconds and of course they're going to hit us one more time with that just to make sure that we understand what's going on so yeah thanks game but that should be one of the last times that we do this as we enter into the relic store and there's a kid that's in the sarcophagus and Had a brief pause there, had to take care of something uh, with the game, you know, in between the game time. But if you want to get the rare tome that is hidden in this room, right there it is. And then make your way over to Mr. Ribs and, oh, great, there's that candle. So you know we're going to have to fight something in just a moment. Oh, yeah, big fire stick. Thanks, Mr. Ribs. Ugh. You know we're going to have to deal with mummies now, right? That, that's always the way it goes. Yes, mummies, mummies everywhere. We cannot kill the cursed mummy. We have to kill mummies, and we have to kill zombies. This is absolutely one of the more aggravating parts of this race that you've got. Because, first of all, I hate the mummies. You've heard me say constantly throughout this game, uh, throughout this LP, that I hate the mummies. I hate the mummies. I hate the mummies. I don't like the zombies either. But I hate the mummies. And, uh, uh, yeah. I'm thinking throughout all of this that I am just going to end up dying right here and right there. And I'm going to start this whole game all over again. And now we're out of light on the candlestick. And there is the cursed mummy who sends a flying skull at me. And now there's a countdown. We've kind of seen this before in the past, but I don't think we've actually touched on what this is. It's a curse. The mummy cursed me, and I don't get how Krivens is telling me this, because wasn't Krivens the uh, Baron Von Gulli the entire time? So I, I don't quite get what happened there, but I, I guess I'm not going to complain a whole lot. I've got a few seconds to get there. Ten. I'm oh, sorry. Ten. Nine. I'll make it at least. But we're more than halfway there. We've got about six minutes left. Uh, Ma Soups will take the candle away from us. We've got six minutes left. We're going to make our way to the laundry to rescue the guy that is the laziest out of all of them. Because dude can't free himself from some towels and rolled up sleeping bags. Uh, so, yeah, thanks, thanks, Mr. Ribs, just whatever. But what do we have to do here in the laundry? We got six minutes left. We have three skeletons. And it's one of those where you... Well, there's the rare tone, by the way. You have to revolve around different enemies and killing the right ones and killing them. You can't kill one after the other. Guess what? I'm fairly certain I stopped caring at this point for the sake of time. Look, it's a skeleton. And look, I'm killing him. Why? Because I've got five minutes to rescue the rest of the people. I should... Bear in mind the word should be able to, you know, get my way around death. There, I've killed them all. Now I just have to escape the room. Oh, look, where's death? He's probably in one of the hallways walking up the stairs right now. There he is, trying to get to me. So we've got a little bit more than... Uh, it's this again. we got a little bit more than five minutes to rescue the rest of the characters, and so I think we may have a good shot of making this, folks. But now we're going to make our way to the walled garden, and guess who's waiting for us? Babs Buff Brass. And she gives us, yes, the Coke Shooter. The Coke Shooter. Uh, but I don't think she's going to be happy with the fact that we're going to be making a mess. <laughs> well, uh, you can go over there and rescue the guy if you want to, but here's what you're going to want to do first. Walk around this way and kind of avoid uh, Mr. Ribs at the moment because, you know, you've got a time limit on your hands, but... Thanks, dog. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There's your rare tome. 
grab the Turbo Cooper, and now make your way back to, uh, I mean, over to Mr. Ribs, and you get to save the kid on the, uh, on the serpent. Two more prisoners left. We've got just a little bit over, I mean, not a little bit over, we've got almost five minutes left, so we're doing good at the moment. But what challenge is awaiting us now? We can't damage this... We... No. 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 That's not gonna work. Yeah. I, I, I knew the moment that this was mentioned that I, I was going to absolutely fail. And you know what? I don't care that there's Johnny and Clyde's here. I killed the skeletons because I already broke something. So I don't care anymore. Look, there's Death right there. Hey, Death. Guess what? Guess what? Bye now. We have one person left to rescue inside the manor. There's two left, but one inside the manor. One is outside of the manor. We have four minutes left. We're about to beat this. And there's our rare tome. And let's make our way over to the other girl I complained about. Not necessarily complained about the fact that, you know, she was... By the way, there's Energy Sapper. That's great. Uh, there's a coat way over there. Just ignore the coat. We have 3 minutes, 59 seconds. One prisoner left. They're outside of the gate. So all I have to do now, as uh, Mr. Ribs runs out the door, is I gotta give... It's not my fault that you got to clean up for done fiddling and fiddles worth. And we've got to fight against a haunted door. Thankfully, I noticed the fact that I had one health. Uh, well. Yeah, well, yeah, so... I, I've got to hurry up and kill this guy, and, and, and I, I, I do mean hurry, because death is right behind me, I'm glad I noticed that. Death is doing all the dirty work for me right now, I mean, I, I, death is my best friend at the moment. I'm making death do what I want to do, you know, I want him to do. I, I, I'm happy with death right now. We got three minutes left, we have one more person to save. As we run into the lower corridor. Almost there, folks. Almost there. And, uh, just... You can... You can do like I did and attack the haunted chairs. You can attack the, uh, haunted paintings. I just realized I had plenty of time at this moment, so I did not care at all. And, you know, there's nothing better to kill a haunted chair with than another chair. There, there's that telephone that scared us a while back, but right here is another grabber. We were grabbed by a ghoulie, I guess. There's our rare tome, folks. We have 2 minutes 47 seconds, one person left, and here's the awesome thing. If you can make it to the front door before time runs out, you have won. But what you want to do first is... You got to avoid all these Medusas. And you have to do so. Well, you got to do that if you want to get the uh, rare tome. But we made it. You know what that means? That means the time limit is gone. We need to just rescue one more person. As we head out to the front gate. Guys, we are almost at the end of the game. Who'd have thought we are almost there? We're at the front gate now. And, uh... There are two dog pens. And, by the way, there's Baron Von Gulli caught up in his statue there. Uh, just wander over here to where... Or, actually, wander up... Yeah, wander there. And that's where the uh, rare tome is at. And then you wander over this way. Because if you don't get the tome first, you're not going to have another chance to get it. Run over here and rescue the last person. Oh. 
And so we rescue the last individual. We're heroes. We high five. Yeah, Mr. Ribs, we did it. We're awesome. Now, where's Amber? I want to get out of here. Oh, it's just a bunch of M's. Nothing to be frightened about that. And that's not good. They're, they're beating up my favorite character. So what does that mean for our hero? Well, what that means is we get to meet the real hero of this game. The true savior, Ma Soupswill. And in the next episode, we get to play as Ma Soupswill. I'll see you then.